Method number 11 here, SBA, CDC, 504 loans. That's 504. Code. That's code for something? Well, you know, uh, there was a group, a hip hop group in, um, back in 1999. Oh, good. Called the 504 Boys. And that's what this is referring to. They have no yeah, relationship to this at all. You for capital? The 504 Boys uh, were all about making it wobble. Oh, wow. They have nothing to do with this. Wobble. Yeah. Okay, good. Stop that. <laughs> Tell me about this then. Talk to well, us. Well, uh, entrepreneur.com, uh, uh, it defines it as the SBA Certified Development Company, it's a CDC, yeah. provides long-term fixed rate financing for businesses acquiring new facilities or purchasing equipment to update existing locations. Hmm. So what this means is like, hey, I want to grow, I have a company that's maybe a $10 million a year company, yeah. and I want to open up a new factory. Well, this group here, uh, the SBA is a CDC group. They come alongside you and they'll say, hey, we'll basically guarantee up to a certain amount of your loan. A lot of times 40%, 35%. Yeah. So it allows your money to go that much further. Okay. So if I could only get $7 million of credit to build my new building, I might be able to get another three from the CDC. Okay, gotcha. Cool. So what are some of the pros and cons here then? Um, the pros is that you can set up extremely long payout periods. Mm. You can say, I'm gonna pay it off in 20 years. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, and then the Small Business Administration guarantees, as of the time that we recorded this episode, up to 40% of it. Okay. So um, that's a good deal. Mm. Um, but the con is that the money cannot be used for working capital. Okay. You can't use it for cash to like pay your team. Okay. It's just gotta be used for buying a bunch of equipment, or by expanding your business greatly. Mm. And the, you understand that the government's role in their mind is to help make it easy to expand rapidly. Right. That's their belief. Okay. However, when you're dealing with the government, guess what happens? Nothing happens rapidly. <laughs> yeah. So I talked to a dude last night. He's a venture capital guy in Thrive. Mm -hmm. Oh, this story is priceless. Yeah. I'm trying to just get down on my salad. And I'm starting to get nauseated because the story is just sick. Yeah. So I'm just like trying to eat. And I'm, it's good salad, like barbecued chicken on it, yeah. you know. And he's like, so I built this building and they won't let me put up a sign. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and they said my dirt wasn't compacted oh, properly. You know, it's like, you know, and I, so I built this big building. I got all the permit. It's not compacted properly. So I got to recompact my soil. Like, well, how much is that? $20,000, oh, oh, you know, 20000 And I'm like, so really, it's, so what else is going on? Well, I wanted to have a decorative, like a, a, a decorative beam in front of my building. Of course, yeah. You know, just a decorative beam. doesn't affect the structure at all. Right. And the city said, well, you can't um, do that because it'd take us like six months to approve it. Oh, you know, and I'm gosh. just like, gosh, that's great. So then he says, I want to put a sign up though, because he has, you know, a business. Right. It's so a general, you don't want to be like a stealth business where yeah. you're like. Can't find us. Caleb, oh, wow. let's do this interview, man. Really you know what I mean? Yeah. I want to be in a situation where people can see me. That would be it. That would be weird. So he has a sign, and his sign, uh, apparently they say, you can build the building, but you just can't put up a sign, you know, for your business. And he says, well, why? Said, well, it's just um, we actually have been very strict this year. <laughs> and this particular city actually did not know because they do some blind votes, like where they vote without knowing what company it is. They actually denied themselves. The city denied their own city the right to put up their own sign that they've been fighting for for over a year. Not kidding. That's embarrassing. And so when you work, realize you're working with the government, yeah. there's a phrase I want to tell you that the great former president Ronald Reagan once said, the tell great orator, the, the great communicator. Tell us. He says the most terrifying phrase in the English language is, Ooh. I'm from the government and I'm here to help. Ooh. That's just, if you hear that, you're like, ah, no. So I'm just <laughs> okay. saying, like, if you're watching this right now and you work for the government, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Don't act like you don't either. Don't be, don't act like you don't. And if you have ever worked for the government, you don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. So a pro here is that uh, you can pay it off over a long period of time. It, it's good if you're expanding, you know, maybe not rapidly, but if you want to grow, you can use this option. Yeah. Negative, it limit, your options are limited here with what well, you can do with this money and how fast you can do that thing. There was a company that hired me to do consulting who only needed to pay me $18,000 and it took them almost seven months to pay me using one of these stupid loans. Oh. So like, that's stupid. Yeah. In my mind, I would rather go open um, some sort of like corn shucking company and just make money corn shucking or I'd rather um, go deliver, start a paper out yeah. or I'd rather go sell candy bars. I'd rather do anything than to wait that long right. to pay somebody or to do something. So, right. But if you have like a big expansion, you're trying to build a $10 right. million dollar building, maybe the time is worth it. Right. But I'm just telling you, beware. Yeah. Google this and you'll see all sorts of reviews from people who are like, I 
you know, after getting that loan, I, I kind of felt nauseous. That's what people just, it's gross. <laughs> it's a lot of people commenting that exact comment. Well, n nobody but me. <laughs> Keep going. 